Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do linear regression in Excel. If you're new, my name's Jeff. We teach financial literacy using Excel for most of our, our tools. So let's say we have a problem where we have units and we're trying to figure out our total cost. So we have units that drive our total cost. So we're going to make this units X and we'll make the total cost Y. So X is the independent variable that drives the total cost or Y, which is the dependent variable. So that's the language we use when we're talking about linear regression. Now the formula for linear regression is Y equals MX plus B. So Y in this case is our total, or I'm, I'm using it as total cost. M is the slope of the line. You've heard that before. X is the number of units or how many um, of the items we have. And then B is a fixed component, and we call that the y-intercept, or um, if you're using language um, like in finance or accounting, then this would be the variable portion, mx, and then the B would be the fixed portion. So it's like fixed cost and variable cost. So here's how we do it with just simple uh, functions in Excel, so a slope and intercept. So I use the FX button because I like to pull up the formula builder. So I'm going to search for slope. So slope here is the first one. I need to know the known y's. So I'm going to just highlight all the y's and then the known x values. So here, and I hit OK. So we're saying here the, the slope is 45.94. So we do the same thing for the intercept. The intercept, we're going to search for that. The intercept, we need, once again, the known Y's and the known X's. So we highlight that, hit OK, hit Done, and now we have the formula is going to be Y equals 45.9463X plus 6001.722. All right, so that's the easiest way, or one of the easy ways to do it in Excel. I've got a couple other ways real quickly to show you so you can kind of um, check your work or you have um, different ways to do the same kind of thing. Now, one way to do it is we could do a, a graph and then let Excel figure out the regression based on the graph. So here's what we want to do. I want to highlight the units and the total cost. I'm going to go to the Insert ribbon. And here where we have the XY scatter plot, I wanted to do an XY scatter plot. And now what it does, it graphs all these 35 and the 7144. So we've got on the bottom, we have the number of units. And on the vertical axis, we have the total cost. So I need to select these. And I'm going to right click and add a trend line. So if I add a trend line, you see down here it pulls up a helper dialog and it says, hey, I want to display the equation, which is the regression equation, and I want to display the R squared value. All right, so I want to, let me see if I can edit this just a little bit. I'm going to try to make the numbers just a little bit easier to read. Let's see what I can do here. So if I make it a little bit larger, that did not work. A little bit larger. Okay, so what you can see is Y equals 45.94 plus 6,001.7. And our R squared, R squared is how good this single linear equation, the straight line explains the data. There's some variability in the data, but it explains like 0.62 or 62% of the variability we see. Not everything's on that same exact line. All right, let me show you a third way to calculate regression that will match up with our results we have here. Now, there is something, if you go to the data ribbon, there is analysis tools, and we want the um, analysis tool pack or the data analysis so I'm on a Mac, and so I can click on this, and I can do the add-ons, analysis tool pack, 
or the solver add-in. If you're on Windows, it might be slightly different. So, but but here's what you here's how you search for it. You search for Analysis Tool Pack Excel Windows, and it'll tell you exactly how to do it on your version of Excel. They've uh, changed that, tweaked it through the years a little bit, and so that's fine. So I hit OK, and now I have the data analysis. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on data analysis, and I've got all sorts of options, but right here in the middle is regression, so I'm going to hit OK. So I now I need to put in my Y range, and I'm going to put in Y including the labels. Do you see I have a little checkbox I can use labels? So I put in the Y values with the label. I'm going to put in the X values with the label called units. And I'm going to add it to a different worksheet. So it's going to add a tab down here at the bottom. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to run the regression. And so what we have here, let me make it a little bit bigger. So what we see is we got lots of statistics and this is how you might want to see this information. You see we've got um, R squared, which we had before, 0.62. We got an adjusted R squared, which is a little more conservative. We have 10 observations. And if we get down here, this is um, what we want to look at. We've got the coefficients. This 6001, remember, is our y-intercept, and it says intercept, so that's our fixed portion. And our slope is based on the unit, so the number of units times 0.4, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 45.94, that is our slope. So we have, we're given here, we, it calculates based on the regression, it calculates the slope and the intercept. So that's three different ways to do regression with Excel. So yes, Excel can do it. It does it really well. And you can do uh, it several different ways in Excel to do regression. You can get the slope and the intercept really, really quickly and really easily. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.